Well, hello, God bless you, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and I'll tell you, I'm just coming out of the day session for our fifth Ecclesiastical Ministers and Workers Meeting of uh, North Carolina Third Jurisdiction, and let me tell you, it has been a fantastic day. I've just come out of great preaching. Uh, we had doctors talking about uh, uh, the COVID crisis and the vaccines, uh, qualified persons uh, giving us advice and counsel on what we should do, and, and, and the doctors encouraging us to pray and to get an understanding and to, and to seek the Lord, and the ministers preaching the Word of God. I mean, I'm fired up, and my friends, Thank you for uh, uh, how you uh, checked us out on last evening. But you know, I'm back today. I said uh, for the uh, the North Carolina Third Ecclesiastical uh, Workers Meeting for our, our jurisdiction that we would be preaching tonight. Tonight. Now listen. I want you to tune in tonight because God has given me a word, and I want to talk about. The theme, the qualified worshiping servants. I want to say something to you that I believe will bless you to listen, listen, to enter into God's presence, but to do what is necessary to make sure God is in your presence. You see, I want to be, I want to walk in him, but I want him to walk in me. I want to serve him, but I want him to be pleased with me. I, I'm reaching up to the God of the Bible because I need him. I need his anointing. I need his favor. I need his grace. I need him abiding in me. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you can ask what you will, Jesus said says, and it shall be done unto you. In these days in which we live, I'm telling you, saints, the old remedy is the new remedy, and the new remedy is the old remedy. What is it? To get in the presence of Christ, to stay in his presence, for in his presence there is the fullness of joy, and at his right hand there are pleasures for ever more. Now, I don't want to say too much. I don't want to say too much. I want to save it for tonight. I want you to meet me right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Our uh, service starts at 730, and uh, yours truly is going to minister the word of the Lord, and God is going to bless us real good. Thank you for this time and this space. I love you. I'm excited. I'm excited because God is doing exciting things in these last and evil days. I know that the news were bombarded with protests and shootings and killings and uh, 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 up an uproar, this going on, that going on. You're wondering what's happening. People coming in into the border, COVID-19, vaccination shot, this and that. Ah, with all that's going on, the God of the Bible is on the throne. He's in charge, and I'm going to preach about it tonight. So join me here tonight at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Bible study and Holy Ghost preaching, and we're going to combine them two, and we're going to preach the Word of God, and when I preach, I want you to say amen. God bless you. We'll see you tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ.